Top 10 Smallest Sea Creatures Even when that pond covers 71% of the Earth's surface, there are benefits to being a small fish in a large body of water since the size is not the only factor that matters. Even though the blue whale is the largest mammal in the world, the ocean is also home to some of the tiniest animals on the planet. The seven seas are home to a wide variety of animals, some of which reach impressive sizes. However, what about the opposite side of the spectrum? On the opposite end of the scale, some wonderful creatures are extremely small. You can find out information about 10 of the most smallest creatures that live in the water by watching this movie. Number 10. Dwarf Lantern Shark The dwarf lantern shark has a length of fewer than 8 inches, making it the smallest species of shark in the world. It prefers the frigid waters of the Caribbean Sea for its habitat and only seldom swims deeper than a depth of 1,000 feet. The discovery of this minuscule shark species didn't take place until 1964, and since then, it has only been spotted a few times. Because of this, it continues to be something of a mystery. Even if sufficient data were provided, it would not be enough to accurately evaluate the state of their conservation. Because of the photophores that are found on its belly and fins, the dwarf lantern shark can glow in the dark, as its name suggests. It is believed that this bioluminescence serves to disguise them against the surface, which is illuminated by sunlight that is directed downward from above. Number 9 The Star, Sucking Pygmy Octopus This minuscule species of cephalopod rarely grows longer than one inch, and weighs only one gram. It is considerably smaller than the dwarf lantern shark. When they initially hatch, they are no bigger than a flea and spend the first few months of their existence floating on the surface of the water, eating zooplankton. After that, they begin to grow into their adult form. These little organisms, which are also referred to as octopus wolfie, are solitary animals that spend their entire lifespan in the shallow coral reefs of the western Pacific. They only live for six months the females are capable of producing up to three successive clutches of eggs, although the majority of other species of octopus only produce one. Number 8. Frogfish The length of the smallest species of frogfish, which is just under an inch long, makes it an accomplished hunter and master of disguise. Even though it is one of the smallest frogfishes, Randall's frogfish is simple to recognize, due to the unique white spots that cover its body. Even though it is tough to notice, Randall's frogfish is simple to spot. Even more little than adults, juvenile frogfish can be as short as 3 mm in length. Frogfish are certainly among the cutest fish in the sea, even though they are not the tiniest fish in the water. They spend most of their time standing still rather than swimming and only infrequently engage in what has been described as a slow gallop utilizing their fins. Number 7. Nudibranch the smallest of the approximately 3,000 species of nudibranchs, often known as sea slugs, is most likely the hammerhead data, also known as dodo omira, which measures approximately 10 mm in length. The hammerhead dodo is a type of nudibranch, and nudibranchs in general are all carnivorous. The hammerhead dodo dwells along the west coast of America. From Alaska down to Baja California in Mexico its diet consists of hydroids, which are a sort of marine life. Number 6. Krill, size, 35 mm. This phrase has almost reached the point where it encompasses a wide range of species. However, krill are more specifically defined as a collection of tiny crustaceans. It is possible to approximately translate this term to imply fry, which is the word for a young fish. Even though they are not related to fish in any way, the fact that krill are found in such large numbers is probably the aspect of them that is the most fascinating. The aforementioned blue whale, which, as you may already know, is the largest animal that has ever lived, consumes a significant portion of its food consisting of these organisms. Number 5. The Mysis Shrimp. Mycida, also known as Mysis Shrimp, are little marine animals that can be found in both shallow and deep marine settings. Their length ranges from 5 to 25 millimeters. The majority of animals call the ocean floor their home and lead nocturnal lives spending the day burrowed into the sediment of the seafloor and venturing out at night to feed on plankton. Some species of Mycida are pelagic and spend their time swimming in settings 
that are located in the middle of the ocean, while other Mycetes species spend their time living in large kelp forests. Mysis shrimp are an important source of food for a wide variety of marine organisms, including young pygmy seahorses these shrimp are high in both protein and fat. Number 4. Pea Crab, Size, 20 mm. Pea crabs are a kind of crab that is quite small they are found in very high numbers. Pincers are a feature shared by the vast majority of crab species, yet, there is no evidence that these pincers have ever posed a threat to human beings. Pea crabs are little crustaceans that are around the size of a pea or a dime. The dorsal surface of the carapace, which is the upper exoskeleton, is smooth on pea crabs. Males have a more robust set of kelopeds than females, who have kelopeds that are more elongated. The exoskeleton of males is rigid and round, and they have eyes and antennae that extend from their fronts. Males also have a harder exoskeleton, the bodies of female pea crabs are frequently translucent, revealing the yellow and red coloration of their internal organs and gonads. In contrast, the male pea crabs have a more yellowish, gray with patches of brown appearance. Number 3. The Pygmy Seahorse There are six distinct species of pygmy seahorses, the smallest, of which has a length of only 13.8 millimeters from the end of its snout to the tip of its tail. Pygmy seahorses are only found on tropical coral reefs and have a highly intricate symbiotic interaction with certain species of soft coral, such as the Venus sea fan. Dinoflagellate algae are the primary food source for brine shrimp, which are the primary component of the diet of the pygmy seahorse. In return, this particular kind of algae uses photosynthesis to produce the carbon molecules that nourish the Venus sea fan. Number 2. Anglerfish. The smallest species of anglerfish is only 6.2 millimeters long, making it the smallest fish in the water. However, the largest species of anglerfish can grow to lengths of more than 3 feet. The waters of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans that are classified as tropical or subtropical are home to the photocorinous spiciness. The female of the species can grow to a length of around 42 millimeters and serves as a host for the male, which is much shorter and parasitic. This type of little anglerfish wasn't discovered till the year 2006. Before that, researchers thought the Paedocypris petrogenetic, also known as the Sumatra larvcarbic, which measured 7.9 millimeters, was the tiniest fish in the world. Number 1. Red Tide Dinoflagellate. This tiny photosynthetic creature is a species of marine bacteria that is also known as Carinia brevis. It lives in saltwater. It ranges in size from 20 to 40 millimeters and is one of the most dangerous predators in the water. Dinoflagellates are believed to be responsible for the formation of deadly red tides, which have been known to kill as much as 1, 700 tons of marine life in just a few weeks. The adaptive marine organism known as Carinia brevis obtains its nutrients from the sun and the eating of other single-celled forms of marine life, such as microscopic species of Mercomonas. This particular type of dinoflagellate is capable of traveling enormous distances, as evidenced by the fact that it has been discovered as far north as North Carolina and as far south as Mexico. How was this video? Post your valuable feedback in our comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates.